Welcome to this video on the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 1, verse 38. Yadhyapyete napashyanti lobho pahatache tasaha kulakshaya kritando shamitra drohe chapatakam. Now again with the text. Yadhyapyete napashyanti lobho pahatache tasaha kulakshaya kritando shamitra drohe chapatakam. Now, this verse is actually only part of the sentence. It means even though these people, blinded as they are, cannot see the grave fault in what they're doing, then the sentence continues in the next verse, but we'll just take this verse on its own for the moment. So, yadi is if, and api, even. Put them together, yadi api becomes yadi api. So exactly the same as English, if and even if, or even though. So yadi api, even if, even though. Ete, um, these people. It's the masculine nominative plural of etat. So ete, these people. Lobho pahata chetasaha. So, lobha upahata chetasaha. The lobha is our well known um, greed, one of the, the three poisons, lobha. And hata upahata. Well, hata, as we know, is the past participle from um, han to kill, but upahan means to, to afflict, to strike at, to literally strike up, but to strike on somebody. So it means that they're, they're afflicted or morally infected. They are struck by greed. They are greed-struck or greed-hurt-minded. Greed-afflicted-minded. Their minds are afflicted by greed. The final element in this compound. Oops, I've just lost my air server. Come on, air server. So I'll just pause while I get it back. Okay, I've got it back. From chitas, so from our root chit, from which we have you know, chitta, meaning mind. And a word with a, a largely overlapping meaning is chetas. May have more of an kind of active meaning, the process of minding, the process of your mind art being active. So there's, there's pretty much an overlap between the words. It's one of these words where the us is part of the stem. And so, consonantal stem, that is why the uh, nominative, a masculine nominative plural, ends in just the aha attached to the stem. So, chetasaha, lobho pahata chetasaha. It's um, a bahuvri compound, meaning they have minds that are uh, afflicted by by greed, by, by wanting. Napashyanti, although these people whose minds are afflicted by greed and desire, napashyanti, they do not see. Now, pashyanti, it's from our, well, we, hopefully you all know this one by now. We have the root drish, um, to, to see. But it makes its present in not drishyati but pashyati. 
So napashyanti, they, they do not see. What do they do not see? The dosham, Oh, why is this still the mayor? They do not see the dosham, that's the fault, and this dosha here is from the same root, it's just a, a noun formed from the, 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 the dush, uh, meaning, meaning bad, as in dush or duh, as in duhka, durlabhan, and so on. So they do not see the badness, the fault. What fault? The kulakshaya kritang dosham, a compound adjective here, literally family destruction made. So the fault, the dosham, kritam, made or caused. How caused? Kulakshaya kritang, family destruction caused. So the, they do not see the fault that is caused by the destruction of the family. So kula. Family, well, well, the extended family. It's more of a, um, more of a, a clan, really, or the people that you're bound to by the special, you know, the kula ties. Kshaya means destruction. Something is destroyed. Is um, the passive form is kshiate, pali kiati. So the asava in Pali, asava kianti, the asavas, the, the, the taints are destroyed. So the, the verbal noun for the root is kshi, verbal noun kshaya. So kula kshaya kritang dosham, the family destruction made fault. Mitra drohecha patakam. And the patakam, which I'll explain in a moment. Mitra drohe. Droha means um, betrayal, treason. Um, it might actually be cognate with the, the tray and betray and verdrehen in, in German um, and the, of the trahere, the treason. Um, it, it's likely, I, I think it's likely to be to be cognate. So mitra drohe, in the betrayal of friends, in friend betrayal, in the betrayal of friends. Now, this word pataka, the, the root is pat, meaning to fall, which is rather inconveniently. I don't know why they did it. Pat means both to fly and to fall, on the op opposite meanings. Um, in the flying sense, um, it's actually cognate with our word feather, because you know, the feather is your flyer, the thing that helps you to fly. Anyway, here it's pat. Um, pat here it has the meaning of to fall. Um, and it's a regular class one verb. Parasmaipada, so patati, flies or falls. It has the class ten patayati. Literally to to make to fall, both in a physical sense and in a moral sense. And something that makes you fall, derived from that verb, is a pataka. So it can bring about a moral downfall. It also has the meaning of something that can cause you to fall into hell. So these people, um, being as they are, lobhu pahata cheta saha, desire struck minded, 
desire afflicted mind with the minds afflicted by desire napashyanti do not see the patakam you know that destructive thing the thing will bleed to your destruction both in this life and the next the word can can cover both your patakam napashyanti patakam mitra drohe in friend betrayal they do not see how being deluded as they are they do not see how the betrayal of one's own friends is a pataka something that can cast you down into hell so i'll read this through again give you the text back here we are yadyap Yete napashyanti lobho pahata cheta saha kulakshaya kritan dosham mitra drohe chapatakam. And once more, Yadyap yete napashyanti lobho pahata cheta saha kulakshaya kritan dosham. Mitra Drohe Chapatakam. And that's all on this verse. And remember, this is not a complete sentence, but it continues into the into the next verse.